If you have played Creatures of Scenaria, you probably want to get better at the game. Since Recode changed everything, there's a ton of very useful tricks and info that most people don't know about. So today, we'll be going over 19 tricks in Roblox Creatures of Scenaria that you should start doing. Number 1. Invisibility is one of the most overpowered abilities in the game, and there's a trick to make it even better. Since footprints are a thing now, you can literally just see people's prints on the ground while they're invisible, but there are certain terrains that cannot pick up footprints, so if you're running away or sneaking up on someone, use this to your advantage. Also, if you're invisible, you cannot be grabbed by other creatures, but invisibility isn't perfect, which leads us to the next trick. Number 2. There are two other ways to find an invisible player. If you use the sniff ability, they're still able to be seen while invisible. Secondly, the Keen Observer ability allows you to see other players' health bars, and you can use this to identify invisible creatures. Number 3. If you find yourself in the Desert Oasis, you can completely vanish out of thin air. There happens to be a portal just under the water in the Oasis Pond, and you can actually reach it without going in the water, making this trick even more confusing to those who don't know about it. All you need to do is position yourself around here on the edge of the water, look down into the pond, and boom, there's the prompt. Simply hit E, and poof, you're gone. So if you're ever in a losing battle near Oasis, with no other option, pulling a quick ninja vanish may be your best choice. One thing you need to consider though is the other side of the portal is the open ocean. Number 4. This is a simple one, but you don't have to wait 10 seconds to access the menu. Just hit tab, and you can access the shop, your inventory, basically everything while you're in game. But one of the most important is the tokens menu. If you want to summon a blood moon, volcano, thunderstorm, you can do all of that from the tokens menu in game. Also on this menu, there's this token right here, which leads us to our next trick. Number five, here's how to achieve the ultimate sleeper build. If you use the in game menu and use a growth token, the effects take place instantly, meaning you have the stats of being fully grown as a tiny baby. Something to note though, your model does not update instantly, but before your model updates, you're just an ordinary baby, except you're actually a sleeper build in disguise. As a bonus, you can update your model whenever you want. Open up the stats menu and hit the become elder button. Number 6. You can become practically undetectable in the game. There are mud piles all across the map, and if you roll on them, you get increased health regen and your scent is hidden for a period of time. Having your scent hidden means you can't be seen by other creatures when they use the sniff ability, but you don't actually need a mud pile to hide your scent. Press N or hold down V to use the action wheel and you can hide your scent anywhere on the map. Number seven, living as a small creature is made much easier just by taking advantage of this. Surviving can be pretty hard for the little guys, especially with how kill hungry some players can be. <clears throat> Definitely not me. So see these small tunnels? There are tons of them around the map. Use them as a sanctuary against the larger creatures who can very easily kill you, but can't fit inside. Also, another trick you can do is parkour. If you need to escape danger, there are some sick hops that you can do. I said sick hops. I said, oh, okay, there we go. Some of the jumps are actually pretty hard, but it's worth practicing. Number eight. If you ever find yourself traveling a long distance, sitting or laying down increases your stamina region considerably. Here's a comparison between doing nothing, sitting, and laying. So if you need to, take a power nap to get your stamina back faster. If you're really demanding good stamina, you could try to score a rock plushie off of this gotcha. It gives 50% stamina region, and combined with laying, your stamina comes back fast. Number nine. Drowning can't kill you. Well, Kind of. Let me explain. When you traverse water as a terrestrial, your stamina will drain rapidly and you'll start taking damage. But it won't actually kill you. What will kill you is when your oxygen runs out. So as long as you keep your head above the water, you won't die. So here my stamina is gone, but I'll only die when my oxygen is completely out. This can assist greatly when traversing the map. For instance, if I want to get over to Flower Cove, I can just try to cross the water now that I know I won't actually die from stamina loss. Obviously though, look out for anything lurking underneath the surface. Number 10. You can do a ton of extra damage to any creature in the game. Ailments are very annoying, so you need to heal them off. Sitting down will heal them two times as fast, and laying down will heal them even faster. Though while you're laying or sitting, you actually take more damage. 31% more while sitting, and 62% more while laying. So if you're out hunting, be on the lookout for people laying down, and sneak up on them to get some free extra damage in. Number 11. Gliding is how you can get infinite flight. Literally all you have to do 
is ensure that you have momentum. And a good way of doing this is by getting some height, dive bombing for momentum, and then evening back out. Congratulations, you now have infinite flight. Literally, I stayed in the air for so long. If you ever slow down, just dive bomb and even out again, and you're good to go. Number 12. Here's how to easily escape any larger creature. If you find yourself in the Redwoods biome, you'll see it has tons of massive trees, and they can be used to your advantage quite easily. The hitboxes of larger creatures very often get stuck on most of the trees here. So if you're a small or even medium creature, weave in between the trees to assist in your escape. Number 13. Strafe is a new movement ability that is now essential for PvP. Try to start using it to only move backwards and side to side, because it butchers your turn rate. Look at how slow turning is comparatively. So if you get in a fight, use strafe to ensure you're positioned well and your attacks land. But make sure to disable strafe if you need to turn. Oh, also you can strafe in water too. Number 14. This type of creature can easily be beaten if you take advantage of their main mechanic. Photo carnies and photovores in Recode are super strong during the day, gaining a 50% buff to damage, stamina regen, and health regen. However, these buffs swap to negatives during the night. So the trick here is simple. If you're apprehensive of about fighting one, just wait until it's nighttime to fight them. They'll be much weaker and easier to take down. Number 15. Here's another one for gliders. There's a way to turn much faster while you're in the air. While you're airborne, stop gliding and start turning at the same time. So you'll be falling out of the air, but your turn speed will go back to normal. Then just start gliding again. You'll lose some height doing this, but you can easily make 180 turns. What's even better is that when you're falling and start gliding again, it doesn't take any stamina. Number 16. You can actually get a menu off while moving, though this one sadly only applies to flyers and gliders. If you hit the menu button, it will take 10 seconds to pull you out of the game. Pressing any movement button cancels your menu, but if you're gliding, you're moving forward without pressing any movement button, allowing you to menu while moving. As a bonus, you can move your camera and actually turn while menuing too. Number 17. It's not much of a trick, but it's still useful to know. If you contract Necro Poison, it disables all of your abilities. Breath, Ambush, everything besides your basic set of abilities, like Strafe, Sprint, or Sniff. Keep this in mind when fighting a creature that gives Necro Poison. Number 18, darting is a new movement ability that most aquatics and semi-aquatics have. But if you have dart and the grab ability, you will automatically grab creatures when you dart into them. You can grab players under the water or jump out and grab anything flying above and pull it down into the water for you to kill. You'll even hear a special noise when you pull it off. Number 19. If you want some free cash, here you go. When you're in the menu, click this button right here and redeem the code RBYouTuber for 250 free mush. I hope it helps. And that's 19 tricks and creatures of scenario recode that you should start doing. If you thought any of these tricks were helpful, consider subscribing. When we hit 10,000 subs, I'll play as the worst creature in the game. If this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll give away 50k mush to 3 people in my Discord. Link in the description. If you're getting into recode for the first time, check out my update video on it if you want to get up to speed.